this is Preeti from Analytics India Magazine and today's episode is a weekly update from the world of data science. Everything from new launches, latest research, cyber threats and events that have happened in the past 7 days will be covered here. So let's get started. A quick update, last week we mentioned that WhatsApp has started its payment services starting in Brazil. But this week Facebook faces a new blow by Brazil suspending WhatsApp's payment service. Brazil, the second largest market for WhatsApp, has suspended the instant messaging app's mobile payment service in the country a week after its rollout. Brazil's central bank said it was taking the decision to preserve an adequate competitive environment in the mobile payment space and to ensure functioning of a payment space that's interchangeable, fast, secure, transparent, open and cheap. Starting with the launches, AWS releases Honeycode to develop apps without writing code. Amazon introduces Honeycode to enable users to develop web and mobile applications without writing code. This service will be available as a part of AWS to allow people with no coding experience in getting started immediately. It works similar to a spreadsheet but has many advanced features to assist you in customizing the applications according to your needs. Moving on, Apple kicks off its biggest worldwide developers conference. The 31st edition of Apple's WWDC conference was dubbed as the biggest developers conference till date. In a historic day for the Mac, Apple announced it will transition the Mac to its world-class custom silicon to deliver industry-leading performance and powerful new technologies. In some other announcements related to Apple, Apple is bringing Face ID and Touch ID to the web with Safari 14. Apple introduced a way for web developers to add support for Face ID and Touch ID to their websites, allowing Safari users to log in without having to enter their username and password. Apple has acquired Fleetsmith, a startup that helps IT manage Apple devices remotely. At a time when IT has to help employees set up and manage devices remotely, a service that simplifies those processes could certainly come in handy. Apple recognized that and acquired Fleetsmith, a startup that helps companies to do precisely that with Apple devices. Apple also unveils iOS 14 and Mac OS Big Sur features. For users in India, Apple is adding 20 new document fonts and upgrading 18 existing fonts with more weights and italics to give people greater choices. For those living in the world's second largest internet market, the Mail app now supports email addresses in Indian script. Moving on, Waymo and Volvo Cars partner to build self-driving vehicles. The two companies announced an exclusive partnership to integrate Waymo's self-driving software into a new electric vehicle designed for ride-hailing. The company says fully autonomous vehicles have the potential to improve road safety to previously unseen levels and to revolutionize the way people live, work and travel. Coming to the next news, Databricks acquire Redash, a visualization service for data scientists. Data and analytics service Databricks announced that it has acquired Redash, a company that helps data scientists and analysts visualize their data to build dashboards around it. For Databricks, this is also a clear signal that it wants its service to become the go-to platform for all data teams and offer them all the capabilities they would need to extract value from their data in a single platform. In some news related to COVID-19, NASA's JPL open sources an anti-face touching wearable. JPL's pulse wearable is essentially a pendant worn around the neck between 6 inches and 1 foot from the head. It can detect when a person's hand is approaching their face using an IR based proximity sensor. A vibration motor then shakes out an alert and the response becomes stronger as your hand gets closer to your face. Coming to the last news, Microsoft acquires CyberX to boost security. CyberX is a security startup that focuses specifically on detecting, stopping and predicting security breaches on IoT networks and the networks of large industrial organizations. Microsoft said that CyberX will complement the existing Azure IoT security capabilities and extend to existing devices including those used in industrial IoT, operational technology and infrastructure scenarios. With that, we come to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Analytics India magazine and follow this segment for everything related to data science as a career. See you soon. Bye.